if you want to hit really hard like Sophie, then you need a really strong, well-connected arm swing. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the four arm swing segments and how to train each piece so that you can be hitting a lot harder. But before we get into the video, I want to introduce myself. I'm Coach Reed Hall, and for the past 13 years, I've been helping volleyball players jump higher and gain strength intelligently through my online program called the Vert and Strength Optimization Program. I also want to introduce you to World Championship Beach Volleyball Silver Medalist, Sophie Bukovic. Hi, I'm Sophie Bukovic, and if you want to be hitting a volleyball nice and hard, then you have to be doing things that aren't just attacking volleyballs. If you do the exercises in this video, it's going to be game-changing. In a moment, I'm going to be teaching you the four different segments of the arm swing pattern and specific exercise that can train each segment. But before I do that, make sure you subscribe to Reed's workouts below so you get access to all my videos when they are released. So first, I'm going to break down the four segments of the arm swing pattern. So first, we have the loading phase, right? She's got this shoulder tilt, the elbows back. Then the next is an acceleration phase. The elbow's going high. She's rotating and she's extending through here. This is the contact phase, and then she's gonna finish through, and that's the deceleration phase. So you have the loading phase, acceleration phase, contact phase, and deceleration. This exercise is called a cable thoracic rotational row. You can use a resistance band for this one as well, but we're working on our loading phase of our arm swing. So in our loading phase, we need good thoracic rotation. And in this exercise, we're also building the strength of the muscles on the back of our shoulder and our upper back. And those are critical muscles to develop to help improve the power and strength of that loading phase of our arm swing. For this, you're gonna to wanna to keep the weight a little more moderate. You wanna be able to have a smooth pull, but yet still feel resisted. This exercise is focusing on the acceleration phase of our arm swing. And we're going to use med ball rotational slams. So I'm doing the acceleration phase of my arm swing. My core and my hip lead the movement and produce power. And then also I accelerate my, through my shoulder. So let's see what this looks like. So she's going to start rocking into her hips and then rotate and drive really hard into the ground. For this exercise, you want to be using like moderate weight for the med ball. So somewhere between 6 to 12 pounds. We want it to be fast, but yet you're still resisted with the ball. For this exercise, we're gonna focus on the contact phase of our arm swing. So you're gonna see with Sophie, she has a big hand on the ball. This leg's gonna be back. And what she's doing, she's actually trying to use her core and push in. So she's actively pushing her core forward and driving her hand into the ball as hard as she can. So she's gonna rotate and push in hard for five seconds and then relax for two seconds. Push in hard into the ball for five seconds and then relax for two seconds. And she'll do eight repetitions of those. Another exercise I like for the contact phase as well is called a half kneeling landmine press. And the reason why I really like it is it helps promote our shoulder blade to move well. So it's helping us develop the mobility and the strength and stability to be in a good position overhead. And it's also strengthening our shoulders. And we all know we need strong shoulders if we're gonna hit a volleyball hard. Another exercise I like for the contact phase is called a dumbbell pullover. And so what's happening here is we're one, if you are tighter, more restricted, and have a tough time in the overhead position, it's helping you develop the mobility in this position, but you're also strengthening this position as you do the pullover. Let's take a pause. If you like the content of this video, subscribe below for all of the upcoming videos. This exercise focuses on the deceleration part of our arm swing. And this is critically important. This is actually where a lot of injuries happen with the arm swing. But you're dropping that ball, you're trying to grab it and quickly pull back. And so what's happening is your muscle fibers are going to have to contract really hard to decelerate that ball. So the next deceleration exercise I'm going to show you, Sophie's going to be using a dumbbell. So she's going to set up with two because she's going... I don't know, relatively heavy, I guess. Well, she's using a 10 pound dumbbell here. We're just working on slowing down the dumbbell in all different positions. So I could work on decelerating and internally rotating. I could decelerate outside of my body. But once again, you're gonna set up with two. And you're gonna control that dumbbell on the way down. The lowering phase should be about five seconds, four or five seconds. So those are the four segments of the arm swing and different exercises that you can do to train those segments. Now, how do you actually apply this into your training? Well, you kind of want to sprinkle these exercises into your workouts. Like I recommend if you work out on Monday, choose two of the exercises that we've gone over. So maybe like the cable rotational row and the med ball slams. And then on Wednesday, you're going to choose another two exercises to add in your workouts. Maybe that's one of the decelerative exercise and like a half kneeling landmine press. So once again, you're just going to kind of sprinkle it into your training. Hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you're subscribed to Reed's workouts. I release a ton of volleyball training content. If you want to work directly with me, what I do is I help volleyball players jump higher and gain strength intelligently 
all done online through a very personalized program where I have you moving very intentionally towards your goals. And if you want to learn how I support athletes, check out that link below. It'll be in the description. It'll be somewhere. Just go find that link. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you tuning in and I'll catch you next time.